Hi, and welcome to Hashtag Dep Talk. Thanks so much for joining me. If you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you. If not, I hope you will do so. The title of today's talk is Getting Too Happy at the Office Holiday Party. December is an exciting time of year. All around the globe, employers are planning and hosting holiday parties and Christmas parties. It's just that time of the year when everybody in an organization gets the opportunity to get together. You have those who are in the headquarter office, those who are in the satellite offices, remote employees, global assignees who get basically to come home and to basically get into a type of huddle. Holiday parties are important for a number of reasons. On the company side, it's a way organizations show appreciation for employees. It's a way they show appreciation for all that these employees have done to basically get the organization to where it is. It's celebrating achievements, it's morale boosting, it's team building. It's just a way for this group of people who've been pulling together all year to connect and celebrate. And then on the employee side, the thing is, for those employees who have gotten to a place where they really like their coworkers and they like where they work, it's an opportunity for them to get together and to celebrate with these people that they've spent so much time with. Because as you and I know, many times you spend more time at work than you actually spend at home. So in many companies, those folks become a family. They celebrate stuff together. They cry together, just all kinds of stuff. And then they get this opportunity instead of work, 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 that they get to just relax, relate, enjoy, and just have a good time together. Different employers do this differently. So you have some employers may do this in a ballroom at a country club or in a hotel, or some folks even rent a yacht. But the point is that these companies are getting together and having holiday parties and having a good time. But I wanna share a couple of thoughts with you as you go off to your holiday party, just some things for you to consider as you go out there and have a good time. So let's say you're at your table and you're with your other coworkers and the DJ starts playing a song and it's your song and starts inviting people up to the dance floor. Listen to me. Yes, I want you to have a good time and you're shouting, hey, that's my song. Before you run to that dance floor, I want you to remember some things. I want you to remember who you are and the type of reputation that you're trying to build and establish in this organization. So stuff like dropping it like it's hot, picking it up like it's cold, twerking, working, whatever. This is not the time. This is not the place. I don't want you to forget. Don't let this location or this event fool you. It's still a work event. And the expectation is that you're going to behave in a way that's work appropriate. The second thing that I want you to remember is, who's your audience? Remember, your boss is here. This is the person that does your performance appraisal. This is the same person that makes decisions about who is going to get promoted in your department. Your future boss is right over there. That's that department that you actually want to get into because they're actually doing stuff that's more aligned with the direction that you want to go into or with your strength. So your future boss is there. The senior leadership in the organization, organization, they're there. These are the people that are making major decisions about the company. People are not computers. So it's not one of those things where well, this is just a party and they're going to erase all of what they've seen and heard at this party on Monday. People's minds don't work like that. So it's just really important that you remember, don't let the location fool you. Remember who you are and remember where you are. The other thing is, is the alcohol free? Here's the thing. You gotta just make sure that you don't drink to the degree where you get drunk. Because when you do that, people tend to do a lot of unwise things. 
I know you have stories and I have stories where one coworker got really drunk and started groping another coworker, or this coworker tried to get into a fight with this other coworker, or even one that I heard where this particular person started dancing on top of the tables. Can you imagine walking into work Monday morning after doing all of that at the holiday party? Now, if you're saying that when you're around alcohol that you have absolutely no self-control, I hear that, but I'm concerned. And I think you should be concerned as well. I've included some links in the YouTube description that I'm hoping will provide some resources that you can tap into and just get any type of assistance that you need. I wanna also share a few tips that The Balance in their article, Etiquette Mistakes at the Holiday Party, they share a few things that you should avoid. One is avoid arriving too early, leaving too late, wearing improper attire, excessive complaining, excessive personal time with another coworker, bringing too many guests, assuming that you're allowed to bring guests. You deserve to have a good time. You have been working hard, putting in long hours and just doing your best as an employee. So you deserve to have a good time, but just keep a few things in mind. Keep in mind the fact that despite the fact that this is not in your office, it's not in your work building, don't let the location fool you, it's still a work event. So make sure you behave appropriately and that your boss is here, people are watching and that ultimately you wanna just make sure that in this one event that you have a good time, but that you set yourself up for success in the future by ensuring that you have a good time without impacting or negatively impacting your reputation. Thanks for joining me today for today's hashtag Dev Talk. I hope that you found something encouraging or beneficial in some way. Don't forget to subscribe and to share it with somebody that you think it will be helpful too. Until next time, have a wonderful work week.